Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is a fun one. We are ranking skincare brands from a dermatologist's perspective. And not just any dermatologist, a dermatologist who's also super interested in taking a more holistic or integrative approach to skincare. So we're going from luxury cult favorites to drugstore staples. Not all skincare brands are created equal, obviously, when it comes to long-term skin health and visible aging. Today, I am ranking them all dermatologist style. I'm Dr. Mamina Toregano, a board certified dermatologist. And if you care about aging gracefully, protecting your skin barrier and investing in ingredients that can actually work, you're going to want to see where your favorite brands land on my list. Some might surprise you and a few beloved names. Mm, I wouldn't recommend if skin health was your priority. So let's dive in. Okay, so let's get started. The first one we have is CeraVe. This is a drugstore brand. And then before I start diving into CeraVe, I have a ranking system for these products. I'm gonna rank them one to five one being the least acceptable, five being very derm approved. I would say the overall positioning is very like barrier first, barrier friendly. CeraVe is named after ceramides. V is for like the vehicle of administering the ceramides. There's a fancy name for the V and I can't remember it right now. But anyways, the product line revolves around ceramides. Every single product, even if it's an anti-acne product, has ceramides in it. So it's like all about preserving the skin barrier. Let's see, what are my favorite products from CeraVe? I'm a big fan of the hydrating cleanser as well as the hydrating cream to foam cleanser. Hydrating cleanser is good for dry skin, cream to foam, for like combo skin. I am obsessed with their, uh, the CeraVe um, PM lotion. That one, I just think is such a beautiful lightweight lotion. That one I've used for years. And then I also like their skin renewing cream in the purple jar as well. So yeah, but you can't go wrong with so many of their products. They've also done an, an excellent job with their acne line. Another thing that I really appreciate about CeraVe is that they really are very derm focused. They also do use a lot of studies to really make sure that their ingredients work, to then make sure that the products work. Big fan, I have been a fan of CeraVe for literally 15 plus years and I recommend it every day I see patients. So this one I will give um, I will rate this one five. Next brand is La Roche Posay. Once again, a brand that I have been a longtime fan of since 2010, really. It's a drugstore brand. Initially, it actually started off in derm offices and now it's a drugstore brand, but it started off in France as a French skincare brand. And the basis for all of the La roche -Posay products is their thermal spring water. It's full of different minerals and nourishing ingredients. And you can expect like nice, gentle, nourishing benefits in all of the La roche -Posay products. They also do have an acne line. Those can be a little bit more aggressive for people who want to work on oily skin, acne prone skin. So my favorite products from La roche -Posay, the Antelios um, Tinted Mineral Sunscreen, that one I have been using since like 2012 or something. Long, long time. And I also am a huge fan of the Tolerian line, whether it's the cleansers, their moisturizers. Also a huge fan of Cicaplast Balm B5. So for people with irritated skin, sensitive skin, and then Lipicar Balm AP+. Love that for people with eczema. Something that I'm not a huge fan of with La roche -Posay, some of their products have fragrance in them. And I kind of feel like it's a French thing, but it can be potentially irritating for people with sensitive skin. Now they do really do a good job testing their formulas. They definitely involve dermatologists, scientists, and do use a lot of clinical trials. Huge fan. Even though they have some fragrance, I have to give this one um, a five. All right, let's talk about The Ordinary. I put The Ordinary sort of in the budget category. It's not a drugstore brand, but it's definitely very affordable. <laughs> And Ordinary is known for like kind of very ingredient focused products. So they'll have a niacinamide serum, a retinoid serum, like um, a caffeine serum, a peptide serum. So every product is like highlighting a single ingredient. While it's nice that the products are very affordable, I just think that it can be very overwhelming and confusing for consumers. Some people might, you know, get super skincare happy and buy a lot of the products and that could potentially lead to irritation. I do, I'm a huge fan of their azelaic acid. I prescribe that, to, or I recommended that to patients for so many years, the 10%, if they weren't able to get the um, prescription form or if their insurance didn't cover the 15% prescription form. I would say be cautious of their peeling solution. I feel like that has messed up so many people's skin because they didn't realize how harsh it was. It's like 30% AHA in there. So overall, I would rate The Ordinary as, I would say 3.5. All right, Neutrogena, this is also another drugstore brand. This one, tried and true, 
lots of involvement with dermatologists, lots of testing of their ingredients. They have some amazing products. There are some hero products that I'm a fan of. I love their Hydro Boost line, especially their water cream and the Hydro Boost gel cream. So good. I'm also a huge fan of their sunscreens. I think they do sunscreen really well. And I would say one of their cult favorites is their retinol, the retinol regenerating cream. I visited a skincare factory that wasn't Neutrogena, but they sometimes supplied uh, ingredients to them. I do really like all the science that goes behind Neutrogena's products. It's, I really feel like coming back to the forefront, it was really big in the 90s and kind of lost a little bit of attention. I'm gonna give this one a 4.5. All right, next is Olay. This is another drugstore brand. I think Olay has some wonderful products. My favorite line is their Regenerous line, which has amazing science. And I personally have seen great results with their Regen um, Regenerous face cream. This cream, the Regenerous line, is cult favorite for a reason. A lot of great data and a lot of experience. It's been around for a long time. Some of the Olay products, like some of the body washes, I also think that there's really good science behind them. I just feel like they need to just tone back a little bit with the fragrances. Um, otherwise, I do think that they can be very effective. So for this one, I'm gonna give them a four. Next, we have Paula's Choice. I would say this falls in the mid-range category. You can find them at Sephora. I think Paula's Choice is very science forward. It's very ingredient focused. I think that their formulas are very well thought out. Um, they have some viral products for sure, like their 2% BHA exfoliant. That went totally viral during the pandemic. And then they also really do such a good job with other products. I love their azelaic acid. I love their peptide cream. That's a newer line that has come out. I mean, honestly, I don't really have huge complaints. They don't put fragrance in them. I think they do a good job educating people. I think Paula is great. My partner in my practice. She's retired now, but she knows Paula pretty well and said that she was a wonderful person. Anyways, I don't really have any qualms with Paula's Choice. I'm gonna give that one a five. Next we have Vanny Cream. Vanny Cream's a drugstore product. Vanny Cream is very beloved by dermatologists because it really tries to minimize ingredients to make sure that it does not cause irritation to people. So we love it for people with sensitive skin. We feel very confident recommending it to people who can't tolerate other products. I love their facial cleanser. I'm also a big fan of, weirdly, their deodorants and antiperspirants. <laughs> I feel like those are my favorite personally. And yeah, I think that they're great. I think they might have a little bit of a limited SKU range for some some like a skincare brand that you would see at the drugstore, but I have to give this one a five. Love candy cream. All right, next we have Drunk Elephant. This is getting to the mid-range to prestige range. Also available at Sephora. Drunk Elephant definitely blew up in the last few years, especially with kids and teens getting super into skincare, but it really was not intentionally, initially intended for that audience or that demographic. But you know, overall, like there are some really nice effective products. I do think that it's a little bit over hyped and I think it's a the price range is, is a little bit much for what it has to offer. The formulas, some of them are very nice. So in terms of rating, I would give Drunk Elephant a 3.75. Next we have Tatcha, um, also a support brand, kind of more in the prestige category, a little bit more pricey. This is a Japanese ritual inspired brand. So I think it was founded in the US, but it has some beautiful products that really try to embody a lot of the Japanese ideals. I do have to say, I do really love some of their products. I love like the Tatcha, like the essence. I love their water cream, their indigo night cream. Wonderful. I'm gonna have to give Tatcha a 3.75, mainly because of the price point for what it is. I love the nod to Japanese culture. Honestly, if you're really interested in Japanese beauty, I would, literally just use some J Beauty products, but some of them are very affordable. Next we have Summer Fridays, also a very popular Sephora brand. I've been a fan of a few of their products. I love their sun drops, their, their sunscreen. I think it looked great on my skin whenever I used it. I also am a fan of their Lip Butter Balm, although I do have to say I'm not a fan of the heavily fragranced ones. There are some that I thought were non-fragranced, but some of them are very heavily fragranced, which is really fun if you're like a young girl and you just wanna like enjoy your lip gloss, but I'm a little bit cautious. I also am a fan of their Jet Lag, their whole Jet Lag set, their hydrating like mask and spray and whatnot. I feel like that can be super nourishing for the skin. The serum especially is like my favorite. I do think that they could be a little bit overhyped. I think it's a beautiful brand. I think the founders did such a great job with it. I'm gonna give Summer Fridays a four. Okay, SkinCeuticals, oh. This one, this one is a luxury brand, okay? But it's also super loved by Derms. It's one of those luxury brands that Derms can 
very much stand behind. It has so much science that goes behind each of their formulations. I've met some of the scientists. I have so much respect for them. As a derm who's been recommending SkinCeuticals products for 10 plus years, I've seen people skin change from using SkinCeutical products. Like I see the results firsthand. So it has a special place in my heart. You know, they're known for their CE Frugalic. That's their cult product. I'm a huge fan too of their HA Intensifier, the, the new one, the multi-glycan, their AGE eye complex i love that one their new age like serum is great as well another product that i've been obsessed with is their ptox which i like to call Botox in a bottle. Obviously it doesn't replace Botox, but it's amazing. I don't think your whole line needs to be from SkinCeuticals because otherwise you may go in debt. So that's my biggest issue is how expensive they are. Products work. I'm gonna have to give this one a five, I'm sorry. Okay, wow. So that was just half the brands. <laughs> this ended up being way longer than I expected. So there are more brands that I wanna rank that are still to come. We are gonna divide this with a part one and a part two. Part two, we're gonna cover a lot of your favorite brands, a lot of the ones from Sephora. It's already linked below and waiting for you. So I will see you there.